Wait for it. Wait for the sound. Yes. It's my favorite. Okay. Let's try this. Hey guys, I'm back. I missed y'all last week. Uh, it was Valentine's Day and I'm a florist so I was really super busy and really tired so I just didn't get to the drink review. It just didn't happen. But today we are going to do the 1893 Pepsi Cola. It was released last year, 2016, as their sugar sweetened fair trade all natural cola and they've got the original flavor which is what we're going to review tonight and then they have a ginger cola but I couldn't find that. All I could find was a 12 ounce can of the original cola and I really wanted to try it so I went out and found it. Per can it has 150 calories, 55 milligrams of sodium and 39 grams of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. Y'all are probably gonna laugh at my face. I mean, you probably laugh at my face anyway, but when I actually take the drink, I might make a funny face. I cut out sodas, except for the drink review. So this is gonna be my first soda in a few days, and it's probably gonna completely catch me off guard, or I'm gonna have a moment of bliss. I'm not really sure what will happen, but I'm looking very, very forward to it. So hopefully it meets my expectations because I have pretty high expectations right now. Let's give it a shot. Wait for it, wait for the sound. Yes, it's my favorite. Okay, let's try this. Oh, that's good. This reminds me when I was my senior year in high school, I got to go to Spain. And in Spain, they serve Coke normally by the bottle. Sometimes they pour it in glass or they have a can, but it's all uh, sugar sweetened. It's not artificial flavors. You can't get like, a Diet Coke at a restaurant, or at least we couldn't when we went. So, I mean, that's what this reminds me of. It reminds me of sitting in the tapas bar in Spain and drinking a Coke. All it needs is just a little bit of lemon and it would be just like Spain. You definitely don't get the high fructose corn syrup taste, which if you typically drink diet cola, you can definitely tell the difference between, well, anybody can tell the difference between diet and regular, but you can taste the high fructose corn syrup if you're used to an artificial sweetener. This doesn't have that thick syrupy taste to me. It's it's really good. I'm I'm gonna have to go ahead and give this a 10 out of 10, which the only other thing I'm giving a 10 out of 10 so far is the buy, and I love that stuff. I now have it in all kinds of different flavors. I'm really excited. Colin even got me some for Valentine's Day. That's how much I love them. I would definitely, if I was drinking cola because regular sugar is is better for you than artificial sugar, but not, I mean, not, artificial sugar and high fructose corn syrup are really just the same awfulness so I always stuck with the diet because that's what I was used to but if I was drinking sodas I would definitely switch to this 